Is it apple cider vinegar or apple scrap vinegar? Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Heartway Farms. My name is Annie and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're new here, we're a family of eight living on a farm in Illinois on a homestead, living life and sharing it with all of you. So we hope that you subscribe so you don't miss anything as you come along for the journey that we are on. But today we are talking about apple cider vinegar or apple scrap vinegar. I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. But we love to make this every year because you just can't beat homemade when it comes to apple cider vinegar. It's so amazing when you go through the process, especially during the fall time, at least for us, during the fall, we're using tons of apples for different desserts. They're in season, so we use them for everything. We eat them fresh. The kids love, you know, the little apple peel spirals that come off when we use our little tool you know to do that for different desserts so we have a lot of those those scraps and we have cores and we have all of that and instead of letting that go to waste or just feeding that to the chickens we take advantage of that and we throw the those scraps all of them into jars so we have a video that will take you through the whole process we can link that here or in the description for you but what you do is you take that those scraps and you add some sugar some uh, water and you cover it and in a non airtight covering and then just put it away <laughs> and I you know you, you're supposed to put it in like a you know a dark place to kind of just do its thing we do it on top of our counter it works it's it's successful and, and we love having this available to us so it's a blessing to have it and we love doing it and it's just you can't beat homemade with this stuff hey friends you have been asking and asking and asking we have finally come up with beautiful cookbooks for all of you they are digital they are printable you can put them inside of a beautiful binder and have them accessible all the time make sure you check them out now back to the video we were doing t everything apples you know we have a bunch of videos on that too but we were doing everything apples and so we took all of our scraps and we put them in these jars went through the whole process and that was back at the end of August I believe um, my beloved editor Levi can correct me if I'm wrong and we have just let these go and yes you're gonna have some evaporate I you know we just kind of like to take it easy with some of these things and and just see when they look ready and you can tell with these and I'll show you up close I'll give you some up close shots in a minute but there's a SCOBY on top of each one of these you know they have been doing their thing and they look beautiful and ready to go and it is time to strain them out and put them into storage now let me cover this real quick because when we put out our apple cider vinegar, you know, there were folks on there and bless their hearts, you know, that were saying, you know, that's not apple cider vinegar, it's apple scrap vinegar. And you're absolutely right. It is apple scrap vinegar. But for us, we use it exactly the same exact way that we use apple cider vinegar. Now the discrepancy is sometimes people are concerned about the acidity level. We don't test acidity on our homemade apple cider uh, vinegar. We don't, we don't worry about that, but I also don't can this and I don't use it in canning recipes. We use apple cider vinegar for baking, for cooking, for hair, for bath and body products, for drinking. I make a tea every day with ginger, apple cider vinegar, and lemon and hot water and consume it. And I mean, I just love that I know exactly what this has gone through in a process from start to finish. So I would say, I would caution you that if you're canning with that, um, you, with your homemade apple cider vinegar or apple scrap vinegar, that you would wanna test the acidity to make sure that you hit the proper acidic level for canning. What is recommended for canning? I just, I have to believe that old school, you know, canning ladies back in the day didn't obsess about this as much as we do as, as a people. So anyway, I would take a breath and just use it like apple cider vinegar. I will tell you it functions and tastes just like it, just like store-bought, the good store-bought, which has the mother with it, right? So anyway, this is all we're doing for this year. We started off with a few more jars, and I will tell you, and I think it's good to talk through this stuff, that we discarded a couple jars and fed them to the chickens because little bugs had snuck their way in. And I think that's a risk that you run when you're using cheesecloth or when you're using, you know, my pretty little napkins here as the, as the topper. We always like to make, whether it's in the garden or in this type of scenario, we like to make a little bit of extra because you account for loss. It's kind of like when I'm planting 
lettuce or whatever. Just plant a little bit extra and don't get so mad, you know, when the critters get in there and help themselves to a little bit of lettuce. Then you have enough for you and enough for the critters. I mean, planting a seed or two extra isn't that big of a deal, right? So we do the same thing with the apple cider vinegar. So now that it's done, and like I said, it's been doing, it's been sitting here, we've been busy, so I haven't worried about it. I could have processed this, I could have strained it out and bought, jarred it, you know, I'm not canning it. Just remember that I'm just keeping it fresh. It's vinegar, it's not gonna go bad on me. It's been looking like this with the mother um, for a long time. And I know some people have mold issues. We don't we don't have that issue uh, with the system that I have. We Mold was not the issue, it was just the little fruit flies that snuck their way into there um, in a few of the jars. They must have just found an, you know, a tiny little area to get in there and start doing their damage. So anyway, I'm happy with this, I'm thrilled with this, and we can put this all up and keep it down in storage um, for the rest of the winter until it's time to make apple cider vinegar again. So let's strain this out. So I'm actually gonna walk up to you because I don't have any assistance today. And I'm going to show you what this looks like up close so that you can see. Do you see that topping that it has? It looks like almost like kombucha. That's like the, the mother there, all right, the scoby. So in this case, because um, I'm not gonna make another batch, I'm not, you know, I'm gonna discard this and feed it to the chickens. That's great nutrition for them. I have no issue with that. And this has done its job. And it's just so cool that it creates it on its own. I just love how food is sometimes and how, um, fermented things are. They're so cool. They just create exactly what they need. We're making kefir right now too, and it's just amazing how it works. You know, we, we love kefir. We love all these things, vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna strain it out. I'm gonna break up the mother here a little bit. Oh my goodness, that's that's vinegar. <laughs> so yeah, if you're looking to, I know, okay, so with my tea that I've been drinking, I'll still have my coffee in the morning, but with my tea that I'm having with just, like I said, water, powdered ginger, a splash of apple cider vinegar, See, I don't even need to dump this all out. This will make it easy for me to, I'm gonna put it back in the jar so I can just take it out to the chickens for a scrap. All right, so we've got it in there, straining. That's beautiful. And like I said, you expect evaporation, that's okay, let it do its thing. So that's three solid cups of apple cider vinegar, which didn't cost us anything because these apples were free to us if you watch back at that first video that you can see. So that looks great. So I'm gonna set that one as done. I'm gonna set that aside. And then I'm just for now, because all of my pop top um, storage containers are in use, we've got stuff going on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this um, in an airtight container now. Again, this was not airtight before during the process. This is all able to be ventilated fully. So, okay, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Well, and I'll just do this. Here, I won't, I'll have to go get a new spoon, but. It is vinegar through and through, but it's really good. And I'm, I'm telling you, like in my, I just love it in my tea. And Julianne uses it on her hair, and we use it in all sorts of things. It can be, uh, you know, cooking and all of that. Just again, be aware. If I can't test the acidity, I'm not going to can foods with this vinegar in it. And that's where I don't worry about calling it apple cider vinegar because that's what it is to us. You know, I'm gonna get a new spoon, and we're gonna keep on straining. Wow, that is a thick, thick scoby on there, mother on there. Okay. Okay, some have more liquid in them than others, just because, I mean, we didn't, again, we're kind of relaxed about this. We, you know, shoved them as full of scraps as we possibly could to have the best 
um, outcome and um, obviously there's going to be some variation with uh, how much evaporated. This is the most with three and a half cups here in my jar. All right. All right, and there you have it. I have my beautiful apple scrap vinegar, or what we like to call apple cider vinegar. And you can even see the variation in color. That's okay, it's a fermented product. If you've been fermenting foods for any period of time, you know there's variation. Um, that doesn't mean it's good, it doesn't mean it's bad, it's just, it's fine, it's good, it's okay. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to put these things away, these jars away in the root cellar for long-term storage and just use it. I wish this would last me a lot longer than it really will because <laughs> we use apple cider vinegar a lot. So anyway, I hope you try out making your own apple scrap vinegar or apple cider vinegar and uh, give it a try and see if you enjoy the process if you like being able to ferment stuff and try new things with these different things I'd also love to hear all the different ways that you use apple cider vinegar all right I hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next video